Hello, I'm Sean Brenneman, Agronomic Services Manager with Syngenta Canada, and I'm here today with Eric Richter, Agronomic Sales Rep with Syngenta, and we're going to discuss today herbicide corn options and what we can do looking at herbicides in corn to really impact the future crop. Welcome, Eric. Thanks, Sean. Eric, over the last number of years, we've really noticed that growers really aren't looking just at this year's management system, but looking at what can I do in this year's crop to help make sure that I've got a successful crop in the future, in the future planting and crops down the road. Can you expand on this kind of multiple year or multi-approach system? Well, Sean, I, th I think the multi-year approach has a lot of advantages for growers, and particularly when we look at weed management. As we understand more about weed species and weed populations, weed dynamics, uh, the multi-year approach really has some advantages and really is essential. If we look at one of the benefits in this corn bean rotation, one of the things that a grower can do in the multi-year approach is introduce different modes of action in their corn crop that they may not have access to uh, in their soybean crop. As we know with soybeans in Ontario, we mostly have either a glyphosate system or in the conventional beans, uh, a system for weed management that's predominantly group two. Right. And so if we back things up what, in, into the corn crop, the grower does have an uh, opportunity to bring in, again, different modes of action and really get at those hard to control or hard to handle weeds at that time. And this is important because if we, if we look at where the weeds come from, mm -hmm. the weeds come from what's called the weed seed bank. Right. And each year, about 75% of the weeds that, that come up in a crop uh, come from that top two or three centimeters, just in the little top layer of soil. Mm -hmm. And the better the job that we do controlling weeds in one crop, in turn, makes that job a lot easier in subsequent crop. Putting less pressure on next year's soybean herbicide program because you've been able to reduce that seed bank this year in your corn program. Exactly. Oh, it makes sense. One of the things that a lot of growers are concerned about now, and it continues to be concerning, is the amount of glyphosate resistance out in the marketplace. And thinking more specifically to the weeds that impact us here in Canada right now, we're looking at Canada fleabane, giant ragweed, some common ragweed. Does this multi-year type of approach and management system, does it work for those glyphosate resistant problems out there? Well, it does for sure. Sean, we, we mentioned uh, about this multi-year approach. It's still a, a critical requirement of the grower to get out and scout and look in that field through the growing season and see possibly what weeds may be escaping. Uh, those in turn will be the problem weeds. And if we see a weed escapes, we can modify our in-crop weed management program, uh, enhance the glyphosate part of the, of the program mm -hmm. uh, to control those escapes and prevent the development of resistant weeds to glyphosate. So when you're talking enhancing the glyphosate, in, specifically in corn, yes. you're talking more of that you know, six, seven, eight leaf stage where growers are coming in with a glyphosate application and then enhancing it. What are some of the specific weeds maybe that growers might be thinking about that they'd want to enhance that glyphosate and add another chemistry in with just the straight glyphosate? Sure. Well, in, in terms of the late emergers, we have um, annual grasses, for example, that um, will tend to germinate over a long period of time. Right. Um, we've got velvet leaf, mm -hmm. uh, even lamb's quarter, pigweed, um, Prozo millet, we've got uh, sow thistle, yeah. annuals and perennials. But again, I go back to enhancing that glyphosate program with a post-emerge uh, two-pass program really will help that grower get a good handle on uh, their, their weeds and reduce any of those escapes. And it's a, it's a good timing too if a grower wants to throw a fungicide probably in at that six to eight leaf stage, they have the option to do that as well. Exactly. Yeah. They're making that pass in crop and as we know, fungicides on corn crop, good return on investment, they're making that pass through the, the crop already and it's very simple to add in the fungicide into their, into their uh, herbicide. So alternate your chemistries, don't just look one year, look a couple years ahead as far as your management systems and try to make sure you understand what weeds are out in the field. No problem weeds. Great. Thank good. you very much, Eric, for your time today. Thanks, Sean. I'm Sean Brenneman signing off with Syngenta and for more information, visit syngentafarm.ca.